In this video, we're going to learn how to make these nice beveled edges and or a rounded edge that, at the top. Um, you can choose how much of this beveling you want to do or how much rounding. It just um, makes it a little bit different. So what you want to do is um, change the view so that you can see these side lines here, these little little ones there. And you click on this modify here. Go down to either fillet or chamfer. So I'm going to click on this one. This is for the beveled edge. You click on that line and then you decide how much you want to put it in. So you could choose one or you could go five or ten and you can see how much it affects it. It changes the whole shape. So I'm just going to pick two. Um, it's just a slight slight modification. Then I push en enter. Now this, these lines that stay here, don't worry about them. They won't show up when we print. They're just uh, uh, there so we can modify um, the size if we want to afterwards. So I'm going to go over to uh, my other line right here, just so I can see it. I'm going to go to Modify, pick the same one. I'm going to do that two again. Okay, so you've got that. So you can see it looks similar to what I've got here. And then for the other one, you want to be able to see that one, that line at the top there. You go to Modify and you go to fill it. So you just click on that. And again, you just play with that number to see how much it changes it. So five is there. Um, so you might want to rotate it. Five is like that. Two does a little bit. 10 is more rounded. So you can just pick whichever you'd like. I'm going to pick five because I think that looks pretty good. So then hit enter. So now your keychain um, is pretty much complete. The last thing you need to do is save it. So you're going to go save a copy and you would go to um, my computer and then you pick where you want to save it to. So I'm going to save mine to a very specific spot. You would just click and save yours where you want. So I'm going to go into 3D printing, I'm going to say name tag, and I'm going to put a number on it because this is the third sort of version that I've done, and I'm going to hit save. Now the last thing you need to do also is export. So you're going to export, and you're going to push STL. When you do this export, you click, you leave it as fine, click OK. When you do this one, I want you to go to the public drive and I want you to save it under Mr. Carlson. I'm going to make a folder right now. There'll be an IA7 folder and you'll just save it in there and you'll have to specify name tag and then you'll put your name. So name tag Kent, whatever yours is. Click Save. Now that's going to save it in a format so that it's ready to be printed. So the next thing I would do is take that off the, the off of the public drive and it's ready to be printed. So hopefully we've got some of these ready and we can print these off hopefully starting today.